Hello, hello, hello. We are live. Good evening, everybody. We are live from Lelystad, Netherlands, and you should be able to hear me and see me. So let's leave a comment if you do. Um, I think we are live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another live with me today. Um, yeah, if I ramble on a bit weird, that's because I might be a bit jet lagged. Uh, if I'm weirder than normal, that is. <clears throat> Right, let me see if I can get the comments up. There we go. Hello, everybody. Hello, Marga. Belinda's there. Hi, Belinda. I've missed you guys too. But I'm back. I'm back from holiday. Just arrived uh, yesterday, I think it is. Yeah, yesterday it was. Um, so, and when else messaged me if I wanted to do, to do the live today, I said, yes, of course. Uh, might help for the jet lag. It's always good to keep busy and to, to stay busy. We had a lovely holiday. It was a fantastic, uh, fantastic place. I love Mauritius. So, uh, yes, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. If I'm sniffing, I've got a bit of a cold that's always flying in planes, etc. that does that to me. Um, yes, please like, comment and share to be able to win the $50 gift certificate. That's important because, uh, yeah, that's a lot of money you can win and a lot of stuff you can buy from it from the Elizabeth Craft Designs website. Right. Good evening, everybody. Again, for the people coming in, we've got a lot of people coming in. Um, so good to see. Hi, Johan. Hi, Linda. Hi, Johanna. Hi, Kim. Hi, everybody. Um, good to see you, everybody. My name is David. For the people who don't know me, uh, I'm part of the design team for the Planner Essentials Collection. And tonight I'm doing the live because Els is on her way to do a show with some shops. So that's why I'm here tonight. I am uh, um, not going to work with the Planner Essentials Collection, though, because um, when I was at holiday, I brought some stuff with me, just not really to craft, but um, to stay busy. So uh, I stamped out some images and I was just coloring, relaxing, watching the ocean, watching the sunset and coloring away. And um, Els saw that. I sent her a picture. So this is what I'm doing. And she said, oh, you can use that. And that was the plan. However, I've changed my mind. I will show you in a minute. So without any further ado, let's change camera. If you missed it, like, comment and share as always to be able to win the $50 gift certificate. And Monday, Rihanna will be here uh, and she will announce the winner. So let's switch cameras, shall we? And there we go. So this was actually what I was playing with um, on my holiday. I was coloring this in. This is one of the beautiful blooms. Beautiful blooms for the people that don't know yet. The beautiful bloom collection was the, one of the collections that made me fall in love with Elizabeth Craft Designs. So it's very dear to my heart. And so I stamped out a lot of these stamps and I was coloring them on my holiday. And the idea was to use this one on the new uh, fold out. Now, what's it called? This one, the flip card. However, the image is way too big to put on there. So then I would have to trim a lot of it off and I didn't want to do that. So this will be definitely coming back on another card because I'm not going to throw this away. I love how this turned out. However, I'm going to do something different. Um, so what I'm going to be using today is a lot of different. I'm going to make two cards, so I better get a wiggle on. Um, hi, Jasmine. Yes, I'm happy to be safely back as well. This is going to be the start of the show, this uh, uh, set, the birthday flip card. So I'm going to use that. Stamp that first, made the card already. I'm going to use the monsters as well. I've got the monsters, yay! So I'm going to be used playing with this one. This is the monster one, and I'm going to be playing with monster three. But first, I'm going to put these to the side. First, I'm going to be playing with this beautiful gratitude rose. I'm going to dis play with the, this rose and with these leaves. I'm going to be using the stamps for that. The, Beautiful blooms are actually on sale right now. So if you don't have them yet, have a look at the web shop because you will love them. And they are there now, so they're on sale, quite a good sale. So if you don't have them yet, yeah, grab the opportunity and get them. Um, oh, hi, Els. Good to see you. Um, hi, Terry. So beautiful blooms, I'm gonna use that one because yeah, as you can see, this one is way too big big for this one. It doesn't fit and I didn't want to cut it off. So uh, change of plan. So it's a good thing I was prepared because 
Of course, I'm going to use the soft finish cardstock. Love this stuff. I've done. Well, you will see what I will do be doing. I will be beating this up quite a bit with water and with uh, inks, etc. Um, but that will be uh, uh, fine. The soft finish cardstock actually takes the water pretty well. It's not watercolor cardstock, but it does do the trick. So I'm going to cut this roughly in half because I don't need the whole piece. And then let's get started, shall we? So I'm going to take my stamps out. There we go. And as I said, I'm going to use the rows and I'm going to use these. And I'm going to start with the leaves. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that on my acrylic block and I'm going to take Rustic Wilderness in the Distress Oxide. I'm also going to use the embossing glaze. So um, I need to work quite quickly and I will probably uh, uh, halfway through do some embossing and then continue um, because otherwise it will all be dried. Thank you for putting in the link to Beautiful Blooms. As I said, they are on offer right now and if you don't have them yet or you want to buy another one, uh, yeah, take advantage of it because it's a fantastic collection. So I'm just gonna randomly stamp these stamps on there. And it doesn't have to be perfect, by all means, just randomly put them on there. So what I'm gonna be doing with this is I'm making my own background paper. Is my sound weird? Is it just Cindy or are the others as well? So I'm just altering these. Okay, thank you, Belinda. Good to know. So I'm just altering the, the how do you say that? The direction of the stamps, there we go. This is what I said, I've got a jet lag. So my brain is not in full gear. Um, so if I'm weirder than normal, that's why. Thank you, Jasmine, good to know. So what I'll be doing now is I'll, I will just dump some embossing powder on there because this ink dries very quickly. It's not a, it's, it's, it's a mix of uh, wrong color. Here it is. So I will just put this on here. There we go. Because if you're quick enough, you can perfectly heat emboss with the oxides. And this is one of the glazes from Tim Holtz in the same color that I'm using. So I'm um, now this is on there, I've got um, time to stamp the rest. Yes, I'm still in vacation time. Uh, well, the, the, the time difference wasn't that big actually, but it's we've been traveling for 22 hours and that really does your system no good at all. Um, but anyway, it was definitely worth it, so I'm not complaining at all. So I'm just going to continue stamping this out. A bit repetitive, but bear with me. It's going to be fun. So this half already has the embossing powder on. Now you don't really see that on camera. Uh, I can see it, but it's uh, because it's the same color embossing powder. There we go. That's that. Close this up, we'll move quickly, put the embossing powder on. So these are both Rustic Wilderness, both the embossing powder and the ink that I've stamped with. There we go. Yep, perfect. Then I'm going to make some noise. I will do it as quickly as I can. 
But yeah, can't help that. I have to make some noise to uh, melt the powder. Right. Hi, Anita. Good to see you. So I'm going to heat up my tool. And I'm quickly going to melt this powder. Let me look at the comments. Yeah, it's like a blow dryer, right? That is all melted. Now, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush. Uh, this is um, just a normal ink brush. No sneaks tonight. No. Sorry. That will be Monday. Absolutely. It really deepens the color of the... Come to think of it, I think this technique I'm doing today is something I've learned from else during another life. So I'm just gonna give these leaves a quick hint of color. No rhyme or reason, I'm not gonna be bothered to do it neatly because you will not see it anyway, but it's just deepening the colors of the leaves a bit. So I'm just going over these leaves, not in a deep, uh, or not inking up too much. And I just love how this soft finish cardstock takes the ink. It's beautiful, beautiful. And what we're doing here is sort, sort of a, um, a emboss resist technique. So this is what I thought about using that as a background for my deer. Um, but yeah, uh, it's turning out slightly different uh, because the deer is too big. Okay. That's on there. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, let's take the ink pad, show, oops. Oh, well, you will not see that. And I'm just gonna put some ink on my mat, take my water brush and spray that with water. There we go. And then I'm just gonna dab this in there, like so. I might even just spray some water just to let it run a bit more. Help it along. Like this. And what will happen is that the embossing powder will resist the color and you will still see the pattern of that um, the leaf through it. So this looks, it is messy fun, absolutely, but it dries beautifully, let me tell you. Now, uh, this obviously, you can heat set this with a heat gun. However, I really love if you let this um, just dry on its own. No, it's not gonna be a Christmas card. You'll see, you'll see. It's best if you leave this to dry on its own. I'm just gonna, Put some drops on there and then take some paper, just dab some off so you get a bit more structure. 
And then I'm just gonna let this dry naturally. So what I've done, uh, I've obviously prepared this. I'm gonna use this later, but I'm gonna put this to the side to dry and then we'll continue because I'm not gonna let you wait until this is dry, but I just wanted to show you the technique of how I made this background. So that's to the side. Actually, I've, I'm stamping on the rough side. Um, this was done on the rough side and it stamps beautifully. Just take your time. Don't be too quick. That's the, the, the key. Um, because what I'm gonna do next is color in the rose and uh, this leaf. So I've stamped these also. Yeah, you can't see it, but I've stamped that on the rough side and it's stamped beautifully, you see? So this is the rose uh, from the same set. Well, actually I've also stamped text on the rough side. It also works well. Um, so especially when you use VersaFine Claire or the, um, yeah, VersaFine Claire Nocturne or the other VersaFine in uh, Black Onyx. That works like a charm. So I've got roses that I need to color in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use saltwater taffy I'm gonna put that on my mat and some more rustic wilderness. And I'm just gonna spray some water in between. And I'm gonna take my water brush and I'm just gonna get some of this pink. Yeah, it's, it's oxide. So I'm using rustic wilderness in oxide. And this is saltwater taffy, also in the oxide formula. And I'm just gonna color this in. And look how beautiful this soft finish cardstock takes that ink. It's not doing any weird stuff. So I've made a mess here. That's the beauty, you can take it off. There we go. So I'm just going to put a light layer of this color on there, just making the rose soft pink. I love this color, the soft uh, saltwater taffy. It's a beautiful pink corally color, very soft. Yeah, especially if you use it like a watercolor, it really makes a beautiful color. I'm just going to put on a bit more on the darker areas play around with it fairly. It's a very simple and easy way to, um, to color, but it's, yeah, beautiful. At least I think it's beautiful. Yes, I've stamped the rose with Versafine Claire, and then I've heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. Right, let's move on to the green. First, I'm gonna take a very watered down color and I'm just gonna color the leaves in like that. And can you remember Anita that I was sitting next to you at Esther's place and I hardly knew how to color and now I'm doing this. It's funny. Then I'm going to take a piece of paper because this is a bit too wet. And when that happens, you just dab it off. And add some more color like that. I'm just going to add that darker color down the middle. And this is how I color my leaves, etc. So that's that. I'm just going to come back to this one, darken it up a bit. Uncharted Mariner. Now, let me tell you, you will see it in a minute. Mm. We're going to be playing with that. So I'm just going to darken it up in certain areas, giving it some shadows and then getting some clean water and bring the, pull that color back a bit, just softening it up every here and there. So that's how I colored these. And then what I did, I also took some orange, not much, and I cleaned my brush picked up some orange and just did the tips of the leaves with some orange. Now, 
again, this needs time to dry and I will not bore you with that. So I'm going to put these to the side and show you the finished result. Ta -da! Here we go. Let me just clean up my mess. I think, I think I'm done coloring, so I'm going to take my mat away. But anyway, this is how they turned out. I just wanted to show you how I did that. And then I'm going to take this mat away. Because that will look better with the black. Um, okay, now first things first. This is that um, card that I forgot the name from again. What is it? Flip card? Flip card? Is it flip card? This one. Flip card. I had it right. Um, and now I want to have this folded a certain way. So um, what I want is for the big part to be at the bottom. So this part needs to come fold this way. It's the magic of TV, right? My magic oven. So I'm folding that that way. And then this part needs to fold the other way. Yes. And then I need to see if I'm doing it right. Once you've got the fold lines in, you just play with um, which way? There we go. You see? Now I've got my flip card. And what I did with the greenery that I've prepared, by Joseph, is this. I've cut out the matte layers, because if you look at the die set, there are... This is the main die, where you die the, uh, the card from. And then these two pieces, you die cut the matte layers. So I've die cut this greenery out uh, and I'm going to put some tape on the back. Oh, there we go. Um, and I'm going to glue that on there. So just got to put some tape and I'm very happy this tape is now in stock in the Netherlands. Does save me a lot of time. I'm not doing this correct though. Could have done this smarter, but let me get my scissors out. There we go. As I said, I'm a bit jet lagged. Now I'm ruining it in total. There we go. It's fun. So, it's going to be a beautiful card, I hope. I haven't made one before, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun. And it's going to be, oh, a beautiful, beautiful card. So, let me start with this piece first. I'm going to take this off, the release sheet. And this part too. Come on, you can do it. And I'll start with the big part right here. Now I have to line that up so that it has an equal border all around, like so. And that is the first part. Okay, that's done. Next, I've got that other piece that's going to go on the top. So I'll put tape on that again. Now this time, let me do it correctly. So it actually makes sense what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. That's how you do it, David. Oh, well, we'll get there in the end, right? That's that. Just Peel off that tape, but not the tape, the pretty sheet. Now 
Now I've got sticky stuff. And it's supposed to stick, but not to my fingers, right? I could have done that too, but there's that second card coming, so wait for it. There we go. I think that's pretty lined up. Sort of. Good enough. Better than horrible, right? Okay, so that's that. Now, obviously, I can do the same on the back side, and I will do that with the part that's drying here. So when, but I will do that when we're done. Um, for now, I will focus on this card. So then I've cut out the happy birthday that's going to be on the back. And I've cut out a matte layer that I'm going to put right in the middle of here. So let me get my tape again. Where did I put that here? I will just put that tape behind here. There we go. That's on there. There we go. So how is everybody doing? Enjoying summer in the Northern Hemisphere and winter in Australia? So let me line this up. There we go. So here we have our front panel already. You see how fun that is. So for this one, I'm going to use some glue because... Uh... Oh, no problem, Nancy. You can always look back. I'm just going to use a bit of glue behind here because I need to go in between the letters. So I will just do that with my glue. There we go. Doesn't need much. So this is always my downfall. It folds like this, so it has to go on there like that. Now, of course, now you can hardly read the happy birthday. You can read it, but it's not, not wow, in my opinion. So what I've done, da -da -da, I've cut out a happy birthday, the same from black, and I'm just going to Inlay that. Hi, Angelique. Good. Kayaking is good. I'm just going to do an inlay right there with the black letters. I like the contrast with the black. Um, so that's why I'm doing that. makes it really pop out. Now, I've lost the little bits that go in there. Well, I didn't actually. Let me see if I can find them because that makes it really pretty. Um, but I might do that off camera later on. First, let me put this in. I like that inlay. And of course, I've cut this out with the soft finish, not, not soft finish, double-sided adhesive on the back. Come on, instead of the P. Yeah, when it's folded, it's a normal card size. I think it's a US A2. Now this obviously it takes a bit of time, but it's worth it. And you can do this with every color, of course. Um, now when I'm done after the live, I will find the little pieces that go in there. I will insert those. Then I will post a picture, of course, in the group. Um, but this already gives you a pretty good idea of what it looks like. Yes, I've got a I've got a jet lag, but never mind. This is what I said, if I 
ramble on or I'm being more weird than normal, then uh, that's why. Now this is a tiny bit, bit to peel off the backing. I might give up on that dot and just put some glue behind it. Oh no, there we go. There we go. I've got it. I've got it. Yes. There we go. Now let's take the R. You could use a light green marker, definitely, but I've got the pieces over there, so I will fit them in later. But I will not bore you with that because this is taking already quite a lot of time. So, But it isn't lovely to see it come together, though. But yes, you could easily color it in uh, with a light green marker or even with some distress ink. Just pick some distress, distress ink with your brush, um, the same color you used for the background, and you're done. That's actually also a very good idea. Thank you, guys. Oh, it's not even done. Uh, this is taking a bit of time, but I like it. I like the effect it has. Come on, go away. It's not that long it takes, but it's. Uh, I think it's worth it. And the last letter already. The bir from birthday. There we go. So, see, when you flip it now, you get happy birthday. And I love that black, it really stands out. So that's going to go to the side. This goes away. So what I've done, I've cut out some roses that are going to be on here. And I've got to be careful that it needs to be able to flip. So this side actually can overhang a little bit like that. So I'll glue this one down first. Beautiful card with roses for a birthday. It's always good, right? Make sure it still flips. Yes. And this one can go right here. I love this combination of that green with the saltwater taffy. And what I like about this is that I'm using, I like to combine things and I would like, of course, we always have new stuff to play with, but we shouldn't forget what we already have. And this is proof that you really can combine uh, older stamps and die sets with new stuff. And I think it's important that we sometimes realize that you don't always have to use all the new stuff. This is also a very elegant card and I think it's definitely worth it to uh, have this die in your in your stash to work with the, the die from the card because it's absolutely um, an added value you can use it for so many different cards um, that's what I love so yeah oh, well you can do it you can go under there don't be big-headed you know what I will just trim this off there we go now it fits <laughs> yes there we go. Now, this is quite simple, but elegant, I think. Um, happy birthday. There we go. Over, overhanging a bit, but it's not a problem. You see? And this fits in a normal standard A2 envelope. So, yeah. Love how this came out. Love it. So cool, Josette, well done. This card design is fantastic. Thank you for that. 
So, um, that's the first card done. Gonna put this to the side. Now, excuse me for a second, I'm going down to the cellar and blow my nose. Because I got a bit of a cold on the plane. There we go, that's better. Right. Yeah, the, the, the subtle pink really pops off that green. It's really, yeah, I'm happy with it. Right, let's clean up this mess a bit. And then let's have some fun, shall we? This was fun also, but don't get me wrong. But now, <clears throat> I love it. So, remember, somebody mentioned just a few minutes ago about Uncharted Myanmar, the new color from Tim Holtz. Now, I'm a sucker for blue, so I already knew the minute I saw it, I was on holiday, I had to get that color. So I ordered it and it was waiting for me when I came back. Well, that was the point because I, I had to figure it out as well. Here is another version of that card. And I've colored both sides with the Uncharted Mariner and it's blotchy on purpose. I did not want a perfect blend. So don't don't worry about that. And it's going to be covered up mainly as well. That's just, I was doing my best to color this all in and then I thought, you should have just colored the edge because, hmm. But then again, I'm jet lagged. That's my excuse. Right. So what I've got here is pieces of paper from the um, fab, fabric and brick fabric. Um, uh, I can't speak anymore from the fabric collection from Ilse and Charlene, the last release. That's going to be on here. And what I've done, I've uh, cut that out using the same die I've used for this matte layer. And I've etched it with Uncharted Mar Mariner again. And that's going to be right on there. So let's start that first. This is the die. Let me show you this one. It's the birthday flip card 1980. Fantastic die set. So I'm going to peel off the backing because I've prepared this one because, I mean, it would have been terrible to watch me stuck glue down on all of these again. And actually, I thought I did that with the other one already, but I forgot. So there we go. Just line it up. Is this the correct one? Yes, it is the correct one. I am going to use some monsters on this. So that's going to be fun. Well, sort of. No, this is this is not good, David. Okay, else here we go. See if it works. Huh. You can half it off. Ha. Bye, Marga. We'll be in touch over the weekend. Now, this is taking me way too long, so I will just wing it. You know what? I can't be bothered. It's just, you get the gist, and I can't get it off quite quickly. So I will just, you will have to bear with me while it's a bit crooked, because it's taking me way too long. There we go. Let's do the other side. Well, Els always says, if you're huffing on the tape, you can peel it off. And it actually worked, but it would take me way too long to do the whole thing. Um, so if you stuck it down and you huff on it, I think the warmth of your breath combined with the moist will loosen up the tape and then you can release it. But of course I had a, a lot of tape on there. So that was not, that would take me forever to do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna line this up with the other part, come on, let go. I will have to unfold it like this, that helps. And do it like this. There we go. Ah. 
It's better than horrible, as Gina K always says, so that's good enough for me. And as you say, it's handcrafted. Right, that's that. Last bit is this one. I'm gonna put this one right here. And I love this paper, and I love that it had a tint of blue in it that was sort of similar to that uh, Uncharted Mar Mariner. Yeah, that's why I normally do glue, Anita, um, but I just wanted to be brave and do it this way. But I will go back to my glue, I think, for the big uh, pieces. This one is, is fine to do with the, because I can sort of hover over it and see. There we go. Beautiful, right, with that paper. And if it's stuck, it's stuck, absolutely. Yeah, but I'm not going to do all that stuff during a live, guys, because I want to show you the finished result. Now, are you ready? Because, of course, I've prepared something. I did not want to bore you with coloring, etc. So I've had a lot of fun this afternoon making this guy. Let me tell you. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Da -da 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 -da. There's my little monster. And what I've done on the teeth, the eye and these, what do you call that? The thing, the flap thingies on his head. I have um, uh, used some glossy accents. So that's the shine you see on his eye. Um, I've colored this using two colors. Actually, I've used the Uncharted Mariner and Salvage Patina for his arms and his um, flaps. Ah, how do you call that? I don't know. Um, and then I etched this and made it grungy with um, vintage photo because I thought it's a monster. It needs to be a bit dirty. So that's going to be right on there. Sitting like this. Cool, right? I love it. I like it. So, just gonna put some glue. Fins, could be, yeah. Yeah, fins it is. Of course it's fins. I knew that. Well, obviously I didn't, because otherwise I would have said it, right? Right, there we go. Put him on there, there. Cute. As can be, right? So I've got a little sentiment that I'm going to put on there. I love you. I, he. And what I like about these eyes, you can turn them, you can twist them, you can do things with them. Um, so yeah, he is. He's having fun, Belinda. He's having fun. So what I did here, I just stamped it on the rough side of the uh, Elizabeth Craft Design soft finish cardstock. Cut it out by hand, stuck it on a bit of that wood paper, uh, sorry, stone paper, um, trimmed around that again, etched it with a bit of Uncharted Mariner, and I'm just gonna put that right under here, just with a little border, let go. You stuck down too early. Come on, come on, there we go. Let's do it like that. That might work better. There we go. Little border underneath. Stuck it on there. There. Great card, right? He's cool and cute. Right. Let's move to the other side, shall we? Oh, now he's looking at me from that side. Because I've got some more of that paper. Slightly different. It's the same sheet of paper, but it had a a shifting color from the darker bluish tone and then it went to the lighter bluish tone which is actually pretty fun combined with um now i've got to think wait i've got to think i've got to think there we go it's got to go like this it goes pretty well with that salvage patina actually so that's why I thought, well, let's go ahead with that. Let me see, what was that? Yeah, he's having a hat in his hand. Let me 
zoom in close. You see, it's a cap. Oh, that's on there. Now let's put this on. It's gonna be a fun card, guys. Let go of my fingers. Right. Now let's pay attention, David. Try to line it up correctly this time. Good enough. It's good enough. Turn on here. Okay. That's good. That's on there, and this side is straight, so, okay. Now let's do the other side. Now this is the back of the card, so you don't have to decorate it, but I th just think it makes it more complete when you do. Um, yeah. It really makes it look finished. So this is the back of the card. And then when we open it, it's like this. And I've got another monster for this one. It's a fantastic set, Anya. Are you ready? Look at him. He's so cute. I love him. I just made his leg shorter um, and, and made his eyes. He's, his eyes are crossed now. Um, and he's just, he looks like he's having a lot of fun. And that's what we love, right? So that's going to be right smack in the middle there. And this, this um, is going to be a completely different card than what I did before, right? There we go. Make sure I don't glue it down wrong. And what I did here, again, I did glossy accents on his eyes, his teeth, and on his little horns. And I've colored him with, let me get my blue pin in. I've colored him using the Selfish Patina and Mar Uncharted Mariner, but did it vice versa as I did with the other one. So I, um, uh, and then I grunged him up again with Vintage Photo. So that's, uh, I think it was a great match with the paper. That's why I did did it this way. So here we have the finished card. This is one. And this is the other one. Don't you love it? And I just think these cards are fantastic. Fantastic to play with. I can't stop playing with it. So I'm pretty sure someone who receives this will be adoring it. And this one as well. I just think it's I love it. So these are the two cards I made today, guys. One beautiful, elegant card with roses, with a beautiful ink blended background with an emboss resist technique, uh, some inlay there, beautiful roses, and then a fun card using the monsters. So yeah, compliments to Yosette again. Uh, I think she did a fantastic job designing these. Um, yeah, I think they, I love him as well. I just love this one. I'm, I can't look at him. I love the grungy look, but I like him as well. I can't choose to do, well, luckily I don't have to because they're both on my card. So let me switch cameras because that was it already. Time flies when you're having fun guys. And I'm actually, well, I'm 10 minutes early, not too bad. Um, so. Let me thank you for watching. Now, again, like, comment, and share to win the $50 gift certificate. Um, let us know in the comments if you did, because that will help Anya to figure out uh, what the um, who will win it. And so that's important. Let us know. Um, Monday, Rihanna will be here, and she will be doing a sneak peek of a lovely collection. The new uh, art journal collection uh, is coming out. A nice set. I saw it. It's really nice. It's cute. It's fun to play with. So. Keep an eye out for that. That's going to be on Monday uh, that Rihanna is going to tease you guys with that. And I'm looking forward to seeing you 
either on my own YouTube channel where I'm going to be live next Thursday for the first time again after my holiday, uh, or I will see you the next time here at the Elizabeth Craft Designs page. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. And I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.